It is I, the man, the myth, the legend, the hitman! Welcome, guys, back to Master Duel. I hope you guys are really enjoying the series. I know I am enjoying it as much as you guys are because it is fantastic how far it's been going. I know it's been like basically simple cutscenes and uh, simple gameplay of the archetypes that we've been doing, but honestly, if you haven't really enjoyed the stories, then you've kind of been missing the big picture. But I can definitely tell you that A, their archetypal. Uh, gimmicks and their stories match up pretty well and that's what's great about that that's what the big picture is so I hope you really come to enjoy the series I really hope you guys that this actually does help you give a little more love to Yu-Gi-Oh because it may be a simple card game and may, most people in the US think it's a dead card game but no 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 it is still very popular to this day and I can guarantee you it if I'm playing it if other people are still playing it, I got plenty of friends that still play it so frankly if this is still going if I Basically, this game will not die as long as I live. Okay? Let's put it at that. So I hope you guys go, come to hope to enjoy the video and enjoy the series. Like, subscribe, enjoy. Let's continue on with the next archetype, shall we? You're definitely going to love this if you're into computers. The last ones that we left off of uh, was the... Uh, <laughs> was the Gears of Justice, basically the Gear Gear archetype, which was basically your common uh, XC summoning gimmick type of deck. Now, the next one is your Digital Bugs, which is kind of an archetype. It's basically a series of cards that are meant to be put together. They're essentially insect insect type uh, electronic bugs. Like, you know how in computers you have this hacking, you have the bugs, digital, uh, they have virus or bacteria down outside in the w real world, or, but this time in the computerverse, or in the virtual world as it is. And these essentially are basically what they're based off of. They essentially are taking uh, the ideas of what actually goes on in a computer, all the bad things that go on a computer, and pretty much like bring them to life, which is pretty fantastic. I like the way that they do that. Uh, they basically how they symbolize them into their own monster cards. And what's great about that is that we're actually continuing on on the Xyz summoning path. Like in the, in the last couple episodes beforehand, we were basically doing. Uh, so let's see. If you see the pattern as we've been going, the first two have been dealing with the attributes, the monarchs and the elemental lords. Then the next ones were dealing with ritual monsters, Ruin and the Megaliths. And then the next ones, Fusion. The Gem Knights and the Gladiator Beasts, they dealt with Fusion a lot. Karakuris and Chernuis, Synchro Summoning. And now, we're on to Xyz Summoning with Gears, with the Gear Gear, and the Digital Bugs. They literally is a pattern for what I'm seeing. So we've been going literally from the Common, to now we're at the Xyz summoning. And then eventually we're gonna head to the Pendulums, which is literally with the Dynamis and the Quill Fort uh, monsters are. Oh, they, they say Quill Fort, although I always keep hearing like or seeing the first three letters, so it's like the Quill archetype, as I like to call it. So, let's continue on with the digital bugs in cyberspace. Alright. So, I am not. I am familiar, but not familiar entirely with this archetype slash series, but let's understand it, shall we? Honestly, I'm just imagining if there's an archetype that basically is the anti-bug archetype in terms of like the cybers, uh, basically in the cyberspace. Where electronically, yeah, 
essentially, so this is basically what your digital bugs are essentially about. They're literally bugs in the system, uh, malfunctions within the system that they evolve over time. And in this case, they take it a little literally when it comes to <laughs> bugs in the system. So, all right, let's see how they work. Essentially, from what I learned, is that it's a lot of ranking up. Essentially, uh, it goes from like a rank 3 monster into a rank 5 monster into a rank 6 monster. So these, from what I've seen, this deck, this archetype, goes well with the Insector archetype from, uh... Dude! Yeah. So you'll find out as this goes. So what makes it unique? By being like monsters, digital bug, they have the materials, you can grant them a range of effects, and of course you can rank, keep breaking them up from rank 3, 5, 7. There you go. See? So let me show you how it's done. Essentially, what are we gonna do? Yeah. Oh, they even have like, can't be used exceeds material except for exceed summon of insect. But let's be honest, like you would not put them outside of their own archetype. Like, that would be a really bad idea. Alright? So first we want to summon Whip Soldier. Mm-hmm. Okay. Activate his effect. Change his battle position. And special summon from the hand. Okay. Now we can Exceed Summon into a rank 3 monster. Specifically you. I overlay. Exceed the Shogun! Digital Bug! Scarra Digital. And they even have their own effects, like, when they're added as a material, they have added little effects to, uh, put it in themselves, you know? Ah, okay. Battle-da! Attack first. Then we'll activate Bug Signal from my hand, because it's the best play to do. And then we'll be able to Xyz Summon, rank up Xyz into a higher level, higher rank monster. Rank up! Xyz Changer! Corbage. Now can just keep attacking. Only this is all you really need to do. And there you go. So personally, I'm not entirely a fan of this deck. I've I've been I've competed with this deck uh, on occasion, but I just I don't know. I'm not a fan of bugs. I'm not a fan of insects. I like I haven't ever been a fan of Weevil Underwood from the beginning, and honestly, just insect types. As time went on, just never really affected me as much. It, like, never gave me a sort of likeness towards it. Like, I never... It, it never gave me anything to appreciate more than what it has now. So, this is one of those decks that are underappreciated by me and by a couple other people. Dude! Right. Oh, goody, a Max C. Ironically, it's an insect type. <laughs> but here you go. Alright. Well, that depends. Are you gonna keep summoning? Any monster? No. no. Then no. Yep. Uh, no. No, 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 no. <sighs> Sometimes it feels like the AI doesn't know how to use Max C correctly. Or at least expects you to use them the wrong way, you know? Uh. Any monster? No more. Change his defense. Eh. Okay. Okay. From the deck. Effects negated, but well, that's fine. Um. Uh, I don't know. I'm tempted. I don't want to waste you. That would be dumb. Uh. Eh, sure. The spell card is kind of useless. Uh, destroy you. Uh, actually, destroy you as well. Okay. Now we will... I'll know we're summon you first. Alright, so we'll take care of... We'll essentially... Hmm. Oh, okay, yeah, that's perfect. And I activate your effect. So then I'll be able to have three monsters onto the field. Okay. Put in defense, because I like to put in defense. Uh, actually, sure, if need be. We'll make a level five. And we'll special summon another galaxy worm in defense. 
Activate your effect. Would that make it a level 5 as well? Oh wait, change battle position? Okay then, sure. Alright. We'll exceed summon- Ah, oh, there you go, an exe Exector monster. Insector monster! I can never pronounce it correctly. Uh, attached material with targetable monster opponent controls. And... Actually, yeah. We'll exceed summon to you. We'll mess with his monster. I overlay my two monsters to build the overlay network! Exisa Shokun! There we go. Wish I could do that a little better. And I will detach you. Take you. Perfect. Uh, okay, I can't rank up just yet. Alright, now we can directly attack twice. No! Stop! Who would ever... Perfect. Just because he has his effects negated does not mean he can't attack. Alright, perfect. We got a good field setup. Let's see what he plans. Well, that's a special summon any monster, so I'll just use a max C. Insect. Uh, no. Okay, we're good. Stop that. I will discard you if you keep doing that. Okay. <laughs> Letty bug, ironic. Uh, okay. And this card, phase of cards changes. You can add. Oh, okay. Actually, that would have been quite useful. Unfortunate, but yeah. What can you say? So I can't really change it to defense. Uh, maybe that card was real. And put, give that card over to me. I may not gain any effects from it, but it'll be fine. I can do this though. Um, uh, would it be able to finish him off? I mean, let's see, 1800, uh, no, no, would not be able to. Let me see. Ooh, number three? Hmm. You can special only sack from your hand. Uh, okay, now, I'll activate you. I overlay my two monsters to build the overlay network! Exceeds a shotgun! There we go. Now I've done it right. I really want to do that right. And let's rank up, shall we? Yeah, I gotta detach the materials to bring it in. Rank up! Exceeds a changer! Alright. So now we got Corbage on the field. And. Okay. Yep, we can finish this. Nope, not yet. Okay, and it. Alright, one more turn then. Come on, come on, come on. I'll still end it next turn. Alright. Doro! This thing is gonna kill me one day. Alright, detach the material. And return to the deck. Battle da! Direct attacker! Boom. Ah, oh, that was easy enough. Well, you can see that they basically combine the Insector archetype with the Digital Bug, which is very good. They definitely go well together, especially since, well, they're both Insect type. And you can use each of them to, like, rank up into each each of their own Xyz monsters, which is very nice. Very helpful indeed. Uh, let me see, can I unlock this gate? I can. Wow, I got plenty to unlock that gate. Perfect. I'll definitely actually... Uh, so after this, I'll definitely actually go back one archetype.
Hmm. Very nice. So using the symbiotic relationship to your advantage really does help both species. Amazing how that works out. <laughs> yeah, they're not just bugs in the system, they actually are very helpful. Ah, uh, there we go, insect metamorphosis. There you go. Ah, uh, no. Let's move on to the next duel. Let's test it out. Ooh, trap all cards. <laughs> I have so much. Dude! Alright, let's see how we want to start this out. Why do I have to go first? I hate going first. Uh, eventually. Revival Swarm. Bat! Okay, as much as Battle Wasps are insect types and can coexist with other insects, they do not coexist with this. <laughs> because I do not have any Battle Wasps with me! Alright. Um. Okay, the normal summon you, special summon you, uh, hold on a sec, how does this work? One insect that is two ranks higher? Okay, actually yeah, I'll change it to level five so that therefore, uh huh, okay, actually we'll do that. Change you to defense because you do have an additional effect. And we will add. A... We'll add Web Soldier. Perfect. Okay. Now we'll exceed summon into Corbage. Perfect. I overlay my two monsters to build the overlay network. Exceed the shortcut! There we go. Now I'm starting to get the lines better. Alright. Now that that's occurred, and I do not need to rank up just yet. We'll do it when the time comes. Okay. Right now, I have decent protection. Oh, you're gonna go there, are you? Suck. Wait a minute. Hmm. The highest defense? You have the highest defense. Destroy the face up monsters your point Oh. Would this work? I don't think it's going to work, <laughs> but I'm willing to try. Let's see. Hmm. Titanic Moth won't help me. Okay. Let's hope this works. Renko, exceeds the changer! Two can play at that game. Nope, guess not. Okay. I'll just activate it, because what the heck. <sighs> okay. And this is why I hate going first. Never go first. Alright. Oh goody. Huh, I can't do anything. Can't do anything. Oh, that's just how it looks. 
that's what happens when you go first. They end up screwing you over. Dude! Alright. So let's see how we can go from here. Uh... I don't know. I don't see anything working my favor. Doro. <sighs> Well, I can do this, and it'll be able to activate an effect which allows one level three or lower. Um, wait. Yeah, okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. uh, we can almost summon you. Hmm. Could do that as well. It's a lot of... I don't like this. I don't, I don't know which way to go in this case. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna summon you. Activate you. Now I should still be able to special summon though. I really despise this... this deck that I'm playing. It, it's a conundrum, is what it is. <sighs> At least I can have, have contributed to negate the effect and destroy him in the process, so. Should be alright. I guess not. Uh... Well, it does have a thousand attacks, so let's go for it. I'll activate you. At least I got rid of all the traps. See, that is the key part in fighting this deck. Just get rid of all traps. All of them. Because they're just gonna screw what it- They're basically gonna take advantage of whatever you even do, okay? You summon a monster, they'll screw it over. You don't- you essentially activate a spell, gets negated instantly. Just don't even do anything, essentially. Get rid of the main components that they have that's killing you at the moment. Right now, he wants to use my own monsters against me. Very nice. Then we just have to work around it, that's all. Hmm. Three and three. Uh... Yep, okay, good. And we will add... Hmm. Hmm, I don't know. Glad you, yeah. I won't be able to do anything else right now, but for now, this is what we can do. Take it as you will. For right now, I do have an advantage, but if he has a trap card in his hand, then I'm screwed. Okay. Now this is where the fun begins. Okay, he has a trap card. Well, shit. Um... Reminds me, can I flip summon you? No, I cannot. Of course not. Um... Hmm... I don't like this at all. So annoying! Okay, activate your effect. Uh, target you. Okay. Special summon you. Because I need the defense. He 
1800. Uh, hmm, monster effect. All right, we'll do Giga Brilliant. All right, I overlay my two monsters to build the overlay network. Exceeds the shortcut. There it is. Let's see if I can chain it. And we'll summon... Hmm. Break up! Exceeds a chain chain! Yeah! I managed to evade the effect! Woohoo! Haha! <laughs> Sucker! Now, come back to where you belong, son. Alright. Let's see. Attach one insect. Um, yeah, actually, let's do that. I may need it. Okay. And we'll special summon you. Uh. Break up! Exceed your changer! Now we're talking. Battle da! Alright. No cards in his hand. Well, we'll have a card in his hand. We'll see how this goes. Awesome. Alright, now this is working in our favor. I love it! Haha! <laughs> The music is pumping, we roll it. Let's go for it. We've worked too hard for this. We fight. Summon another bug to the field. I overlay my two monsters to build the overlay network. <laughs> All right. And uh, no. Nope. All right. Battle that. Let's do some piercing damage. Nope. Yep. Ooh, perfect. Prepare to feel defeat! Done. That's how it's done, boys. Alright. The power of the bugs. Ironic, isn't it? Well, then again, we do. Ants do carry. Uh, ants and rhinoceros beetle do carry at least 10 times their own weight, so you gotta admit, they are stronger than you think. Alright, let's see what this last duel has to offer us. Dear! Alright. So how do we want to do this? Uh, I don't like this card at all, Owner Steel. Oh nice, a little more of Insectors. Yeah. See, the funny thing is about Insectors, they do a lot of uh, equipping themselves. Essentially kind of makes sense to how like a bee or say another kind of bug would like, you know, do a little symbiotic attracting where essentially they take in their prey and use it for their own good, which is essentially what this is trying to make a metaphor out of, which is great. <laughs> that, that's all I can really say. Uh, whoa, okay. Uh, Kaijus, I do not like this at all. Uh, hand or she? Okay, I do not like this at all. Um, let's see. Oof. Well, it's a special summon. I might be able to. Okay, let's do that. Okay. Activate the kaiju tribute. You. I do not like using kaijus either. I'm curious, can I? Yeah, boy, I love it. Although, actually, hmm, let's make it interesting. Or, actually, what's the effect? Uh, you can target one kaiju monster in the field, destroy that monster in the special one. Okay, so it could do that as well. Um, let's thin out my deck a bit, though. Uh, Alright, so we'll special summon you. And you. And now I'll have two kaijus on the field. Uh, on the field, though. Okay. So actually, to this controller's field. So actually, 
uh, we'll destroy you. And special summon you again. Nice, from the deck. Now use an owner's seal. And I'll take my kaiju back. Ah, oh, I guess that does happen. Okay. Normal summon you. Can go into a link. And now. Alright. Battle that. Oh, nice use of kaijus, I have to say. Now we got the advantage. Alright. We thinned out the deck, and we screwed up his place, so that worked out pretty well in our favor. I like it. Uh, sort of. Oh. You know, funny enough, in the Zexal anime, that's a fake number card. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yep, he went for the higher one. Okay. Control my monster, special summon this fan. Ah, uh, crud. Alright, who can I activate in the card? Mm hmm. Okay, we'll do that. We'll add. Okay. Add you. How many kaiju counters you got? None. Okay. Special summon you. Tribute to you. Sorry to screw up your plans, but this was the deck that was given to me, so... Don't. Don't bother. Okay. Now I'm gonna get this to go to three kaiju counters. Okay. Can we finish this? Shoot, we cannot. Or can we? I'm curious, what, uh, what do we have? Do we have, no? Let's see. Hmm. No, I don't like this either, darn. Destroy you. Hmm, Max C, okay. And special summon you. That does kind of complicate things, doesn't it? Okay. Normal summon you. Let's battle. Darn. Let's just hope that the cards he gets in his hands won't be terrible. For me, yeah, that is, anyway. Alright. Okay, good. We're good. We're good. We are good. Hmm. Well, let's activate the field spell when need be. Might as well. Battle da! And end this. Alright! Boys, we did it! Woo! We finally fully completed another section of solo mode. Essentially, where we finally did it in the one where we weren't supposed to do it, in which case we were supposed to do it after the one we were supposed to do. Savvy? No? Okay. But anyways, we managed to finish, officially finish, Digital Bugs in Cyberspace. And hopefully, I uh, get to go back and clear up all the other gates that need to be unlocked. But otherwise, this is where we end this episode. I hope you guys really enjoyed the series. Hope you guys really enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, enjoy. And thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys really did enjoy it because I do put in a lot of effort to at least get this out to you guys as quick as possible. So I hope really you are able to get them. 
when the time is right. And don't worry, this is no April Fool's joke. I don't know when April Fool's is. Yada yada. Anyways, have a great and blessed day, boys. Peace!